Good morning everyone. Today's lesson is how to multiply fraction and mixed number. The objective of the class is to multiply fraction. Go to the page 191 and 192 and let's start the class with this example. How to multiply the fraction. In this case we have a whole number is this and a mixed number. First, the first thing we have to do is rename the factors as uh, fractions. How we do this? When it to, this is a whole number, we need to rename as a fraction like this. When you have a whole number, only you need to add is a number, a unit as a denominator. Now we have a fraction. On this case, how to rename a mixed number as a fraction? Do you remember how to do it? First, we need to multiply times 4 and then we need to add the numerator okay let's start 8 times 4 32 32 plus 1 33 33 and copy the same denominator now we have an improper fraction but we have on this case a fraction it doesn't matter if it's proper or not or proper now we need to multiply. The second step in steps on this case is to multiply numerators and denominators. Remember how to do it? We need to multiply the numerators on like this. How much is it? Four times thirty-three. Okay, what we did is one hundred thirty-two. One hundred thirty-two. Now we need to multiply one times four. 1 times 4 is 4. Okay, the next step to solve this problem is to simplify always the answer. You need to simplify the product. You have to simplify. Let's simplify this. And we need to divide in this case because it's an improper fraction. 132 divided by 4. Okay, how many times 4 is in th uh, 13? 3. It's 12, subtract. 1, this number is going down. How many times are 4 is in th uh, 12? 3. Okay, the 3 times 4 is 12, subtract 0. Okay, in this case, my answer is a whole number. And that's it. We have a whole number as an answer. Good morning, everyone. Uh, the le today's lesson is the lesson 9.4. Pages 193 and 194. Multiply mixed numbers. Objective to, to multiply to mixed numbers. Okay, let's continue to start doing this example problem of your book. Uh, remember what you have to do. In this case, we have a mixed number here by another mixed number. We need to multiply. Okay, always, it doesn't matter if you have a whole number fraction or, in, or mixed number in proper fraction you need to rename factor as a fraction you can multiply only if you have all the factor as a fraction okay is this a fraction no this is a mixed number so we need to rename let's rename this and rename this too okay let's start renaming the mixed number remember how to do it like this 2 times 4, 8, 8 plus 1, 9, again okay, we need to do it here, 9, and copy the denominator, okay, let's rename another mixed number, 3 times 3, multiply, 3 times 3, 9, plus 1, 10, we have here 10, and copy the same de denominator, three okay now we can uh, go to the second step remember we need to multiply numerators and denominators remember how to do it numerators and then the denominators okay let's do it this part how much is it nine times ten ninety now four times three twelve 
okay before to simplify we need to divide because in this case we have a um, mix it's improper fraction this is improper fraction you can also start simplify but it's the same okay let's change this 90 divided by 12 how many times 12 is in 90 or seven times seven times are seven times 12 84 let's subtract six okay the answer in this case remember the next step was simplify the product was simplify in this case like a mixed number that's the whole number the quotient is the whole number reminder and divisor okay simplify we need to simplify in this part careful the fraction part because you can simplify they are in the same table in the table of six let's simplify by six okay six divided by six one 12 divided by 6, 2. The real answer is 7, 1 half. You can start simplify at the beginning. And you don't have to do at the end. It doesn't matter. You can start at the beginning simplify or at the end simplify. You all will have the same answer. Okay, this is another example. to uh, Another example problem. And we need to... Uh, first, the first step we have to do is rename the factors. Then rename the factors as a fraction. Okay, I'll have a fraction. We don't have to rename. Let's write it here. But here we need to rename. Remember, we have a whole number. How to rename a whole number as a fraction? You only have to put one here at the denominator, and you have a fraction now. 7 times 1. Okay, remember the second step we have to do is we need to multiply numerators and denominators. Remember to do numerators, we multiply. Okay, oh, 2 times 7, 14. And now we need to multiply denominators. Denominators, one time, 9 times 1 is 9. We have a improper fraction. The next step we have to do is simplify. Let's simplify the, the products. If we have an improper fraction like this, we need to see we are in if they are in the same table. Are in the same table? Mm, 14 and 9 are not in the same 14 and 9 are not in the same table. So, on this case, we need to divide because it's an improper fraction. Let's divide. How many times 9 is in 14? 1 time. It's 5. The answer on this case is a whole number, a quotient, reminder, it's going up, and the divisor. It's still been the divisor. Okay, we did this part. Okay, here's another example on page 194. The problem solving. Uh, exercise number 26. Find the area of the rectangle. Uh, remember how to find an area of a, of a rectangle? We need to remember the formula. The area of a rectangle is base and height. Okay, the base I already have it is this. The base is 314 yards. And the height is 135. And we have the same. We need to rename this as a um, fraction. That's the first step. Remember, we need to rename the factor as a fraction. Okay, let's do it. 3 times 4, 12 plus 1, 13. Uh, and copy the denominator. Let's do for another fraction, the mixed number. 1 times 5, it's 5 plus 3, 8. And copy the de denominator. Remember, the second step in this case is... The, the second step 
here is to multiply numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator okay 13 times 8 is equal to how 104 okay 4 times 5 20 okay you can start simplify on this moment and all our even number that's our even number and let's divide are in the same table let's do this okay 104 divided by 2 is equal to half 52 20 divided by 2 that's equal to half 10 we continue simplify this 10 and the 12 uh, 52 are even number so let's continue divided by 2 okay 52 divided by 2 is 26 12 10 divided by 2 is 5 and let's stop here now is still we have still um, a improper fraction 26 divided by 26 divided by 5 is improper fraction so we need to divide 26 divided by 5 we need always simplify the, the product how many times 5 is in 26? 5 times 5 times 5 is 26 the subtract is 1 remember how to write a mixed number? this is a quotient a quotient is the whole number here the reminder is going as a numerator and the divisor is going as a denominator and we're finishing this problem okay and remember and remember multiplication by mixed numbers you always have to do the exactly the same the first step we have to do is rename the factor as a fraction then you need to multiply numerators and denominators and always please always try to simplify the product you can simplify the product as as a whole number or a mixed number and that's all the stuff you have to do always